This video is sponsored by Squarespace. In this video I will give three quick tips on black and white photography. Number one, switch your EVF and or screen to black and white. If you are using a DSLR, rangefinder or film camera you see the world as is, but with the mirrorless we tend to get boosted light and contrast, weird resolution and strangely saturated colors. And just as colors distract the viewer of the final image, they will no doubt distract the photographer when creating the image. If you shoot raw you will still get the color information if you change your mind and want to use it later. Looking through the camera in black and white can make any bland and boring day look moody and cool. As a bonus, if you're shooting with manual glass and focus peaking, it will be much easier to see the highlighted edges. Number 2. Try to push your post adjustments a bit further than you normally would. Don't be scared to experiment more and that goes in both directions. If we take this color image and start erasing any given parameter, it will sooner or later start to look weird and artificial. But in black and white you can go further, because being black and white it already is weird and artificial. Fake if you will. So the viewer will have a much higher tolerance for extreme adjustments. Take for example contrast, you can go crazy high or crazy low and it can still look nice. Also using the brush tool to push out subjects is easier to get away with in black and white in my opinion. Last tip is to focus on finding different tones of light and textures, because other than the shapes and composition that is all you really have. Look for interesting compositions where different hardness of light and shadows meet but also on different textures and surfaces to create depth and a dynamic scene. Here we see an exaggerated example with a paper on snow. Both are white but the contrasting textures makes all the difference in the world. That's it, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you are a creator looking to grow your audience, then a website should be your first move. Squarespace is a popular and powerful platform that makes setting it up super easy using their templates and professional portfolio designs which of course are customizable. You can also include a booking schedule making it easier for you and your clients to connect you also get access to Squarespace email campaigns so you can engage with your audience in a consistent and effective way. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash Matthias to save 10% of your first purchase on a website or domain.